933 Tony nominations. They are out, all right? 36 shows were eligible this year. It was an incredible Broadway sh spring season, like historic in terms of numbers. So let's talk about your favorite musical or play and if it made the top honors. Yeah, we are weighing in with Paul Wanderick, the editor-in-chief of Broadway.com. He is also the producer, <coughs> excuse me. Ooh, producer and chief correspondent of the Broadway show with Tamsin Fidel, which airs I'm right here so on Pix 11 up. on Sundays. Great to have you here, Paul. You got choked up. It's been a, it's been a nail biter of a season for yeah. Broadway fans. First of all, I mean, seriously, there were so many shows that came out and it's just like, oh my gosh, who are they going to well, pick? There were 12 openings in nine days just last week, which is unheard of. Just to squeeze it all in before. Yeah, it was crazy. Before Tony's season. And I, you know, I thought I knew a lot of, but let's talk about best musical nominees, right? A lot to pick from. Um, and then there was one that made the list that I didn't know much about, which is called Illinois. Yeah, Illinois came in at the end of the season. It yep. just slipped in. It literally started performances last oh, yeah. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a dance piece, beautiful piece. Um, it's good. Yeah, it did really, really well. So we have Hell's Kitchen, Illinois, Outsider, Stuffs, Water for Elephants. Any surprises here? Well, look, it was a really tough year. There were 15, it was a yeah. record breaking number of musicals, 15. Wow. So picking five, normally it's not. One, a one in three chance to be nominated. So it's tough. There are a lot mm. of shows still running that weren't nominated. Um, it's a great batch. Hell's Kitchen, uh, you know, also a late opening, yeah. um, swept 13 nominations. This is Alicia Keys' uh, life story. It's really unusual for a songbook musical, jukebox musical, because it's not about her mm -hmm. becoming a music star. It's really about her childhood mm -hmm. in New York City and in Manhattan Plaza, which all New Yorkers know Manhattan Plaza. Oh gosh, yeah. So that was a, a big, big musical. The Outsiders, beautiful adaptation of one of my favorite mm -hmm. uh, childhood novels. The Outsiders did really well with 12. Also, fun fact, Angelina Jolie is up against Hillary Clinton. I know, yes. Who would have thought, <laughs> right? producers of both those shows, yeah. Wow. Um, and Hillary Clinton, you know, she's going for the EGOT, maybe, right? Because she already yes. has yeah. a, a Grammy and an Emmy, so, <laughs> Isn't you know. that something? Isn't that something? Uh, then we have Best Play. Uh, let's take a look at them. Jaja's African Hair Braiding, Mary Jane, Mother Play, Prayer for the French Republic, and Stereophonic, which is also Huge. tied with, did it 13. tie with Hell's Kitchen? That's a yeah. lot of nominations for a play. Five actors yes. nominated. This is an, another play that came from off-Broadway. Mm -hmm. um, it's about a band that may or may not be inspired by Fleetwood Mac in a mm -hmm. recording studio. Okay. It's, it's a three-hour play. You're kind of sitting, watching them make music. Incredible. It also got a score nomination, which is unusual. Right. Uh, you know, you don't usually see plays in the score category. That is interesting. Um, yeah. And Zsa Zsa's African Hair Braiding. I don't know yeah. if you guys saw that play. That was one of my, I saw it late in its run, and it was one of my favorite plays. So I was really yeah. happy uh, that it got represented so well. Awesome. Let's talk about best performance by an actress in a leading role in a play. This category, I feel like it's going to be the toughest one here, okay? You have Jessica Lang from Mother Play, Betsy Adam from Prayer for the French Republic, Rachel McAdams, Mary Jane, Sarah Paulson for Appropriate, and Amy Ryan for Doubt, A Parable. I mean, this is Whew. tough. That's a tough one for sure. I mean, American Horror Story fans will love the fact that Jessica Lang and Sarah Paulson, yeah. you know, they were, on, they were on Broadway previously for mm -hmm. Glass, in Glass Menagerie yeah. uh, many years ago. They're up against each other. Incredible. Rachel McAdams came in at the end of the season. You know, she got amazing reviews. Mm -hmm. It's her Broadway debut, but she did a lot of theater as a kid. This right. is a dream of hers to do this. So, yeah, this is a powerhouse category. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a tough one for sure. Okay, actor in a leading role in a play. Uh, let's look at the contenders there. William Jackson Harper, Uncle mm -hmm. Vanya, Leslie Odom Jr., Pearly Victorious, a non-Confederate romp through the cotton patch, Liv Schreiber, Doubt of a Parable, Jeremy Strong, an enemy of the people, Michael Stolbarg, Patriots. Well, that's another tough one. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah. Seriously, this is a tough yeah. year. Jeremy Strong, I think, maybe has a, an edge uh, this year. That's a, an amazing performance. Leslie Odom Jr., previously a winner for yeah. Hamilton. This, uh, this Pearly Victorious, you know, this is Ossie Davis's play, mm -hmm. um, came back to Broadway in a beautiful revival, and I'm really excited for him. He also was a producer of it. It was yeah. very much a pet project for him, so I was glad to see them have such a great showing as well. Yeah, we just had Kara here yesterday from Pearly Victorious, and she's nominated yeah. as well. Let's talk about actress in the leading role in a musical. Uh, so there were quite a number of uh, shutouts here because sure. of the fact that there were so, so many. many. Um, so we have, this is the wrong wrong one, guys. But let's talk about the the women. Yeah. You have Eden Espinosa. Yes. From yeah. Lampica. Yeah. I mean, that's She's getting a lot of crazy, great reaction to that the show not itself but her yeah she you know she hasn't been on broadway in a while she was a, a fabulous alphaba uh many years ago uh, malia joy moon from hell's kitchen is yeah. a, a brilliant newcomer playing uh young alicia keys yeah um, kelly o'hara 
Days of Wines and Roses, Marianne Plunkett for The Notebook, yep. and Gail Rankin for Cabaret. Yes, Cabaret did very well. A brand new revival at the Kit Kat Club. Um, Kelly O'Hara and Brian Darcy James were both nominated for Days of Wine and Roses, mm -hmm. which was a musical that didn't run the full season, but beautiful performances. Um, and Marianne Plunkett is a previous winner who hasn't done a musical in many years. And she and Dorian Harewood are the older couple in The Notebook, and they were mm -hmm. both nominated. And I mean, Heartbreaking. Cried like a baby. Performances. <laughs> Cried yeah. like you? a baby. <laughs> he yes. still cries when he talks about it. Ah. Um, and finally, for actor in a leading role in a musical, we have Brody Grant, The Outsiders, Jonathan Groff, Marilee, We Roll Along, Dorian Harewood, The Notebook, Brian Darcy James, Days of Wine, as you just said, Darcy, Days of Wine and Roses, at Eddie Redmayne, Cabaret, another one. Whoa, head yeah. hitters. I, uh, first of all, I love Brody Grant. He's, mm -hmm. the, he's the star of The Outsiders, a fantastic young talent. That kid is going places, trust me. Put mm -hmm. money on that one. Uh, Jonathan Groff, yeah. beloved Broadway actor. I think this may be uh, his year. And also his yeah. co-stars, Amira Louie Rolong. Daniel Radcliffe got his first nomination. Yeah, I saw and he's, that. he has really dedicated so much of his career to Broadway. So I'm very excited. Any for upsets? Him. You know, I, I'm, I personally yeah. thought Ali, uh, Ali uh, I forget his last name, but from yeah. Tommy. Yeah. It was unbelievable, yeah. didn't get nominated, but any upsets when you look at it? Um, in terms of snubs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I loved, I love Water for Elephants mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a beautiful show that did very well. Um, didn't get any acting nominations. Uh, those, those actors are fantastic. It's hard. Yeah. This, is a, this is a tough year. Yeah. There's, there's way too many shows out there. Um, I'm thrilled for the nominees, and I hope that the shows that weren't given as much Tony Love are able to stay find open. an audience and yes. yeah, stay Sustain. open as well. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for coming in. Such an exciting time. Yeah. So many shows you got to still see. Oh, Holy and by God. the way, on Broadway.com, you can vote for your favorites if you yeah. don't like how this all turned out. The, the Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards, we've been doing this for, since yes, the year 2000. It. It's a great opportunity. We're allowing people right now to go on and nominate. And then this Friday, we'll announce nominations and people can vote for the final I winners. Love that. Awesome. Yeah, so that's a lot that. of fun, too. Good right. to have you here, Paul. Thank, Thank you for having me. Much. We'll call them the Pauls. <laughs> <laughs> the Paul Awards.